Hey there, Chad here with another episode of Kerbal Space Program in 2021. At the end of the last episode, we had achieved suborbital flight and earned a lot of science points. We have 107 points to spend. I'm going to go ahead and spend some of those right now. I'm going to go into the research and development branch and I'm going to unlock the next three items uh, in, in, the, uh, in the tree and we'll still have a few points to spend. I've looked through this a little bit. I think right now the best bet is to buy the basic science. And there's a couple of things on here I'd like to demonstrate. First of all, basic science, it gives us a really nice experiment to gain more science points. That's always helpful. There's also this guy called the experiment storage unit. I'm gonna demonstrate in this episode how that works. It's a nice little tool can save a lot of effort. So we'll buy that. Leaves us with nine points, not enough to buy anything else. And I think this will do enough for now. So what I'm going to do is go into mission control. We're going to pick up a couple of contracts we can do relatively easily. So there's another test the heat shield at the launch site. And part of the reason I'm grabbing these is there are some upgrades we need to purchase for buildings. And that costs a lot of money. Uh, so we will be running a little low on funds pretty soon. I want to kind of get ahead of that a little bit. Another one I want to grab is we're going to do this hammer solid fuel booster into flight. Now these are a little more complicated than it might look on the surface. We have to achieve a specific altitude. Uh, there's a nice range, 6,000 meters here, but also there's a specific speed, about 150 meters per second variance that we have to to hit that's not entirely easy to do necessarily with experience you'll kind of figure out where the rockets will put you and what kind of speed you'll be but it, it can be very difficult to manage some of these a few of these get really difficult to achieve there's some that want you to test a parachute uh, at uh, 230 meters per second, which is pretty slow in the upper atmosphere. So you kind of have to be at the top of a parabolic arc to get that to work. And there's a lot of very specific situations that you have to achieve to get those to fire. I'm going to skip those, but I'm going to demonstrate this one. Gene is again, glad we're taking contracts. I guess it means he gets to keep his job for another day. Okay, we're going to go into the vehicle assembly building now, and I'm going to build a relatively simple test rocket here. Uh, we will have a capsule. Jeb's going to fly the mission. Instead of putting a parachute right on top of it, though, we're going to put this guy, the experiment storage unit. It's a relatively simple piece. It's, it's smallish. Uh, its mass is 0 0.05 tons. It's very light. What it will do, and I'm going to go ahead and continue to build out the rocket as I explain this, but what it will do is allow for us to run experiments and retrieve them all into here, and we only have to return this in order to collect those science points. So in the past, what we had done is attached all of our sciencey stuff to the capsule directly. I'm actually going to separate it. I'm going to put a coupler in there decoupler. I'm going to put this new uh, Science Junior kit and then that's where I'm going to attach my experiments. We're going to do, I think we're going to do triples. We're going to try to do three of these if it'll let us. We could run into a parts limitation for the number of pieces we have available at launch. We have a limitation of 30 parts. Uh, we're at 11 right now. Add a couple of goos. I'm only going to put two of these on there again, kind of trying to save a little bit of space. So ultimately what happens is we're going to launch and we will run experiments and then we will store them here. We will decouple, we will fall gracefully back to the planet and collect the science points for what we did there. And let's see, the last thing we're going to need is an engine. We're, this is just a real simple test we're going to demonstrate on how this works. So I don't think we need to get really crazy with it. And we will do, let's do three fins. There we go. Okay, 
basic science rocket. We're doing just fine with parts. In fact, we're doing so fine with parts, I think what we're going to do is try to combine a couple of these tests. We have the, the hammer solid fuel booster that needs to be hauled. Uh, and when you haul something, you, you just have to get it to that, that location. So let's do that. This is the hammer. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to remove all the fuel from it. So it's going to be empty and we're doing that to save weight. So let's empty the fuel and then let's add another booster. Let's put the thumper below it. And what we're going to do is have the thumper haul this into space in or into this altitude window. Uh, now, solid rocket fuel, once you light it, it burns until it's gone and we definitely won't need the entire rocket. I think we can get by with about half of it. So let's, uh, let's go down to half there, 410. And the other test we have is the heat shield. And let's check and see which one it is. It's the 0.625 meter, so it's the smaller heat shield. It's this one. Okay, let's, uh, let's find a place to drop that one. Incidentally, when you, when you drop parts, if you don't connect them, they'll just hover here and you can come back and grab them later and, and put them somewhere. To remove them completely, you have to drop them on the bar over here. and That'll make it go away, kind of sends it back to inventory. Uh, just a quick point to know there. So let's, let's pop this off, put that small heat shield there, which makes no sense at all. We're doing this strictly because we're going to run a test on it. In fact, I'm also going to remove all the weight from it. The ablator down to zero for that. This will allow us to accomplish both of these contracts in one mission. At least I hope. Let's see what we get here. So we have the booster with half fuel in it, the test booster with no fuel in it, and that's simply so we can uh, kind of control where it ends up in the atmosphere. I'm kind of eyeballing this a little bit. Let's add three fins for stability. Okay, I think that'll do it. So basic science rocket 2.0. It's a little less basic at this point, but it should allow us to accomplish a couple of goals and we will knock out a couple of contracts, make a few coins to continue. So we don't have to do anything fancy on this one. It's literally just a launch. We're going to light it and it will go and I'll open a few things so we can kind of pay attention to where where everything is happening. So we'll launch and if we watch our fuel we can see that it's not going to burn too long. What I'm watching for is this window. We have to be at a certain speed and we have to be at a certain altitude. So right now we're only at two, 3,000 meters. We're way under this. Uh, and we've crossed above the speed, which was 390, and we're up at 760. Uh, the fuel has stopped burning, so we will no longer accelerate. We're basically going to gracefully slow down. And right now we will top out at 36,000, which is a little above this. But again, we want to hit this window at this speed. I have a good feeling that this is going to work. In the meantime, I'm going to run some science. We're going to run that material study. That's the new one. That's 22 points right there. We will run atmospheric pressure. We will run mystery goo. Let's do a crew report because why not? And all those are getting filed away. Now, if you recall, those are not on the part of the rocket that's returning. So we're going to use this little guy up here. Let's go ahead and run that last mystery goo just to get as much as we can. I'm going to right click there on the experiment storage unit. I'm going to cl click collect all and you're going to see a whole bunch of messages pop up here. Basically it's saying, hey, all that data was stored. Okay, so that's going to allow us to just return this and all the science will come with us even though it's not going to come back with the rocket. So you'll notice we hit our targets while I was talking. We we have achieved all of these and so we completed the contract. And we got 16,000 funds for that. 
now we're falling back to the planet. Let's go ahead and separate. Now you'll notice again, all the science is still connected there, but we're bringing back the results in this little container. And that will serve us nicely. Now one thing I did not do, and I did this on purpose, I did not try to fly the rocket away from the base. Um, the, so we will basically fall back down the same trajectory that we went up. And so will this. And if you're not careful, it can come back and it can hit you if it, pa if it starts to pass you. It's something we want to pay attention to. The, the uh, long and short of it being that um, the planet is turning underneath us, so we won't necessarily hit the launch pad. We should end, end up a little bit to the west because the planet moves from west to east, so we should drift to the west. And I just remembered we had one other thing we were going to do, and that's the, the heat shield test. And so I'm going to right-click on the heat shield, and I'm going to say Run Test. And that should allow us to complete that contract. It is not doing that. I might have missed a step in what it wanted us to do. Oh, we had to be on the launch site. That's my bad. Should have done it while we were sitting on the pad. All right. My bad. We'll come back and get that one in a simple uh, just run on the pad. And you'll notice that the parachute, I didn't have to stage for it because if I recall, it was staged with the separator. So it opened when the pressure dropped to the appropriate level. And then it will bloom at about a thousand meters and slow us down at about, I think we've seen this before, about 400 meters above the water, which is ground in this case. That was our rocket hitting the ground, the main part of the rocket. So it is no longer a factor. Kind of wish I'd watched that a little closer. I should have. Feel free to run any of these yourself and kind of see the results. And you can always, you can always revert if you need to. We don't want to do that right now. Rather complete this one. I'm going to go ahead and accelerate time so we can watch Jeb drift gently at 5.6 or so meters per second. There are no other science reports to run. Time acceleration stopped because I have science set up to stop time acceleration when there's a new experiment. And we're on the ground. I should have probably slow, slowed it down there. Pardon me. Uh, one last thing that Jeb might get some points from is an EVA. I don't recall if we've uh, done one in this biome. We have not. 2.4 science points. And just to demonstrate real quick, once that condition was met, it shows up here in the science here and now. We could have run it that way. Um, might have saved me a step, but put Jeb back in the capsule and recover it. A very successful test with the exception of me forgetting to do the heat shield. So we earned 42 more science points. That's enough to buy another node if we want. And we recovered our 97%. Uh, not bad for where we landed. And Jeb gained no experience there, so. All right. Uh, what we can do real quick, just to finish that off and get that other contract out of the way, to have a nice clean start for the next episode, we're just going to go into the vehicle assembly building. We're going to send the same rocket right back out there. We're not going to actually launch it. We're just going to run that experiment and then recover. So I'm going to zoom in there. I'm going to find that guy. Yeah, I missed him. There it is. And we will hit run test and contract complete. We got some good data. Glad to hear it. Uh, you'll notice we accomplished another milestone. I'm not quite sure what that one is. We returned to the surface. I don't, I don't know if that was maybe lingering from something else before, but nonetheless, there it is. So another milestone and we will recover. And we didn't get a whole lot of science that time. In fact, I think we got none. Yeah, it skipped science. Went straight to 
parts and then crew. So, okay. I think we're going to call that right there. Our next episode, we're going to look at upgrading a couple of the buildings and going for uh, orbital flight. We should be able to accomplish that next time. Until then, fair travels. <laughs>